okay hello guys in this video we are going to see how you can create your own user control and how you can uh, put that inside the DLL and uh, port it to other applications so before we start the control that we are going to create is uh, gonna display a message uh, letter by letter okay uh, it will be like a label but uh, you know with a few other features okay so here, here we go so first thing we have this project um, you if you check the solution here uh, you'll find your project available uh, right click your project select add and from the list of options select user control okay and here you are required to enter the name of the control and here um, we are gonna call it letter by letter um, label okay that's it and now we are gonna say add that's it so what you see right here is actually uh, the control and this control doesn't contain anything okay uh, this is just its background okay now what are we gonna do is uh, placing a label control on it okay so here uh, this is the label control now uh, we are gonna change the, this behavior a little bit so I'm gonna double click this one now in the load event label uh, sorry label one dot left equals zero label sorry one dot top equals zero uh, on the label one dot width equal me dot width and label one dot height equal me dot height now the me here represent the control itself uh, to think about it you can think of the controls uh, that it's more like a windows form okay that can be embedded inside another form in other words the same way that you put a label here okay you can put a label here and modify its behavior you can do the same thing with the control and this is what are we doing right here so we just cha changed its location and size and uh, I'm gonna go to the resize okay what happens when we resize this control we are gonna repeat the same code okay there we go now um, this is the basic behavior now what do you want to display here uh, we need to specify a number of things we want to know what message to display so this message is going to be the property in this case so now let's say uh, private um, user message as string okay and I'm setting this as a private because I don't want anyone to have direct access into this property now the way I want others to access this one is through a property so this is how you define it public property text a string okay the moment you create a property called text or any other name uh, you will have two methods <coughs> sorry the first one is get which allows you to get the text available and the other one set in order to, to change the, the available text so here we have the user message um, sorry the get you just return 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 and this one user message equal value okay so this property uh, which is in this case it's called text uh, will affect actually uh, uh, the properties window we, you are gonna see that later on now what do we need next in this case we need uh, a timer control here so we're gonna place this timer and uh, okay I don't want 
wait a minute, let me check the, uh, select this one and the label control, I'm gonna change its modifiers, where is that? Okay, so here modifiers, it's friend, uh, sorry, friend, I'm gonna make it private so that I guarantee no one access it. <coughs> sorry. And uh, the timer is also is gonna be private. Okay, now the name of the timer, it's gonna be timer one, no problem and uh, uh, we are going to display one letter every second and uh, generate member through <coughs> enable this through so what happens when the timer ticks so we are going to use this one private um, letters displayed as integer equals zero that's it so now what happens letter display uh, sorry uh, letter displayed equal letter displayed plus one and if letter displayed mod um, what's that let me see user message message dot link uh, ah wait a minute sorry letter display Letter display equals it's this one. Okay, uh, there's another thing here. <coughs> if user message equals nothing, then label one. <coughs> Not feeling very well. Uh, dot text equal nothing and exit so. so okay. So there we go, and uh, here, this part is gonna tell me how many letters to display each time this code executes, we're displaying one extra letter. So now, label one dot text equal user message dot substring from zero, and the letters displayed uh, is gonna be letters displayed plus one there isn't plus one because uh, I'm specifying the length and uh, at first it's it's gonna be zero okay so we have this one here as you can see we're gonna save this I'm gonna close this one now this is the label I'm gonna close this uh, this is our form right now the problem <coughs> that you might face now is that okay where is the control all you have to do is go to build and select build solution okay and there you, you go uh, it's here letter by letter label so I'm gonna draw one here okay so now uh, you, s you see that it, it just disappeared okay so all you have to do is go and search for the text property. The text property you created will appear appear here. So where is the text? It should be. Wait a minute. Uh, a. Sorry. Um. I think I'm doing something wrong here because I can't see the text property. Hmm. Let me go to the code. Double click that what did I do here public property text as string return user message and this is it okay so it's a public property okay uh, oh sorry there is already an uh, property called text for the control I'm gonna change that to um, overrides right I think it's like that right oh wait okay so public overrides property text now what th this means is that if there is an a property called text associated with a control I'm gonna get rid of that property and I am gonna create my own okay so this is what overrides mean so right now if, if we go to the design here let me rebuild the project again and now if I go and select this one I search here I'm gonna see the t 
text, uh, then oh, PQR, and I can't see it. Surely I'm doing something wrong. Gosh. How come? Let me see, wait a minute. Uh, oh wait, let me close this. Let me close this. Save this one. Pull this one again. Yeah. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying. Wait. TTT. Come. Let me see. So this one is little by little label. Okay. Uh, we have the property here. I wonder why it doesn't appear on the <coughs> in the properties window, but uh, it's alright. Um, this is a test. Okay. Um, so right now we have it here. Okay, as you can see. Um, so now I'm gonna run this code and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So, wait a few seconds. Okay. Now look at this. You can see the letters appear. Letter, uh, sorry, the label displaying the text letter by letter. Um, so, and when it finishes, it's going back to the beginning. Okay. So this is the control. This is how you can set its properties. Okay. Uh, now let me check this again. This is really strange. Okay, let me see here. Public property now. Double click this one. Um, double click this. So, public property text. This shouldn't have any effect, but if it ha it works, it's gonna go to drive me crazy. Uh, build that again. Okay, I uh, cannot figure out what the problem is, but what I'm going to do is the following. I, am, I won't use the same property text. I'm going to change the name to um, special text. Okay, so now it is called special text. I am going to build this. And now, uh, if I go to the form designer, I click here and search in the properties window I'm going to find this is the special text property I don't know why it didn't work with the text property maybe because it's uh, already available and I got rid of it using the overrides uh, method and used my own I'm not sure so sorry about that anyway so uh, we're gonna say for example hi there this is a test dot and enter now as soon as you press enter you can go and see that uh, the control is working during design time okay um, so everything looks nice right now everything's working fine so if you would like to you can run the code and uh, have a look at uh, your form okay so there you go it's working now, um, okay, so what are we going to do now is that uh, we are going to bundle this control inside a DLL and we are going to use it uh, in another project. So what, do, what should you do? Okay, first of all, I'm going to go and change the project type into a, uh, <coughs> a class library. Okay, this is the first thing. I'm gonna save this. Next, I'm going to get rid of this form because I don't need it. I only need this control. 
uh, if you have modules that the control is using you might want to leave them there okay I'm gonna delete this form I'm gonna say yes remove that and now I'm going to build the solution okay so now I've just finished building the solution and now um, copy the full path um, and go to computer mm -hmm. and now click here go to bin debug this is the DLL okay so I'm gonna copy this okay copy this here go to the desktop paste it here okay the reason I'm doing this um, I want you to see that the DLL file which contains the controls is now available here now we are going to start a new project file a new project and we're going to forget all about that letter by letter label now how do you add this control to your visual studio all you have to do is go to tools and uh, choose toolbox items okay and now from this option wait a few seconds okay um, the visual studio will have to work to uh, wait for a while until uh, it's able to uh, find all the available DLLs anyway so select to browse go to where the DLL file is this is the DLL file I'm gonna say open and as you can see it's here letter by letter label table I'm gonna click OK and as soon as I do that you can see that the label is now available here I'm gonna use it here just click it and draw it on the form it's here and now if I go to the uh, where is that uh, special text yeah um, hello um, this is the user control and enter if I do this uh, you can see now it's working and right now um, this is part of the uh, available uh, controls and I can use it in any project okay <coughs> and uh, now I am running this as you can see okay okay and uh, if I now go and run a new project here create a new project now if you go and check the available controls you are going to see that it's available here so you can use it uh, all the time it will be available all for you all the time now there's something here if you want to remove this from here all you have to do is go to tools and choose toolbox items now wait a few seconds and uh, okay uh, what was its names I think it was uh, wait a minute this is a problem I forgot its name it, uh, it should be letter wait a minute sort this by name Take L no, wait L L L this is it it's letter by letter level. so here uh, you just remove this from here press OK and now this control is not available in your visual studio everything is the same way uh, the, uh, uh, sorry everything is exactly the same way it was back uh, then okay so this is how you create uh, a user control and how this is how you bundle it inside a DLL uh, you can create multiple controls inside a single DLL file and use that okay hope you'll find this useful if you have questions uh, please send them to me also check out the website www.mkdicep.com for more tutorials on how to have a nice day goodbye